you've been following us for a while, you might know something about us that makes Penny very excited. Um, and that is, even when we lived in the Airstream and we had so little storage, we still prioritized something. They got put up and had its own cabinet. And it still, right now, has like half of this giant cabinet here in our house. And that is... Candles. We like candles. We like burning them all the time, even in this heat in the summer. The problem is, the problem is candles, problem is candles, yes, are expensive if you get the good smelling ones, like Yankee. We occasionally get them from Walmart, they're cheaper, but they don't smell quite as good. So we decided to do something about that. I'm making my own. Today's the first day I'm doing it on my own. I did it with our friend Stacy a couple days ago. They turned out awesome. She still has them, but we're doing some right now. So I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I'm doing soy wax candles because that is what my sister has done in the past. And so she recommended it and kind of taught me what to do. So I bought this starter kit from Amazon with 10 pounds of soy wax in it, which is gonna make a lot of candles. Um, it also came with a bunch of wicks and a couple of wick holders which I, our fr my friend Stacy is ordering more of these, so I've made some additional ones out of skewers for today because I'm making more than two candles. Um, I also bought some scents. So this is my sister's favorite scent, and she sent me one of her candles, and I loved it so much, and so did my friend Stacy, that we decided to buy a big one of these, but we also bought a whole bunch of sample scents so that we can try them and decide what our favorites are so we can buy bulk lit next time. So I haven't opened these yet, that's coming soon. Right now I'm just making volcano candles. So the process is that you put, you weigh out the amount of wax that you need into this wax pour thing. And then you put that in a water bath so that it slowly melts and heats. Meanwhile, you heat up whatever you're gonna put your candles in. I have been collecting candle jars and pickle jars. Pretty much any jar that a candle could go in, I've been collecting. So I got all sorts of jars to put these candles in. <laughs> so you heat that up. And then once the wax is nice and hot, I'll show you what happens next. Perfect. The one thing we don't have are the little sticky things to stick the wick down to the bottom of the candle. So our wicks are sometimes a little bit bendy, but that's okay. These are both the same amount of wax, just different jars. Volcano scent, no color. The next batch is gonna be a little bit more exciting because we're gonna do color and new scents. But first we have to figure out which scents we want to try. Ugh. So we need to smell all of these scents to decide which ones we're gonna try today because I'm not gonna be able to make all of them. This is my favorite part. Yes, he doesn't even know what I order. So they're one ounce little bottles. One ounce will make um, like one pound or a 16 ounce candle. So which I'll split into a couple so that me and Stacy can split them. But we have to decide which ones. So they each have a little bit of electrical tape on them. I'm gonna try not to look at the name and we're gonna see if we know what they are. Let's see, what does this smell like? This smells like what, um, beeswax almost, <laughs> I want to say. Doesn't smell like a scent? I actually saw the name, Orange. unfortunately, on this one. Tropical. Ah. Yeah. We'll have to see how that does in the candle. It's called Jamaica Me Crazy. Jamaica Me Crazy. We got mostly summer scents, but there were some more wintry scents. I love the wintry fall scents, and there were some that just were calling my name, so. Maybe you can see that. I can't, obviously. Like sandalwood almost. Oh, that's sandalwood. That's totally sandalwood. We love sandalwood, so that is a flavor. I'm almost like a peach. Am I, am I close? Is... It does smell like peaches. That's why it says fresh peach. Fresh peach. peach. <laughs> Not bad. Well, that one, what does it say? 
It says vanilla. Oh, okay. Well, this one we should have been able to pick out anyway. <laughs> yeah, you would think that we would know what vanilla smells like. Yeah. Nice vanilla. Oh, yeah. That's oh, good. that's a lovely vanilla. That smells like baking. It's not a fake vanilla. No, it smells like baking. It it's, smells uh, really good. It's really good. It's really good. I have to tear the tape off without looking at the bottle. Yeah. Okay. Like a lavender or lilac or something with an L. Something with an L. <laughs> a flower. I'm thinking something with an L. Jasmine. Oh. I didn't get that one even close. That's because Jasmine's my favorite, so... It's very exciting, isn't it? Don't you wish you had Smell-O-Vision? I have no idea. It's very familiar. Does it have something to do with bourbon? Maybe? No. What's it say? I never would have guessed pineapple sherbet. No, it doesn't smell like pineapple sherbet. It smells good. I just wouldn't guess. I guess I could get a little bit of the pineapple. Yeah, I don't know about that one. The scents do change once they're in the wax and you're burning the candle. So that's part of the reason why we got these little testers is so we can try and see which ones we like. It's like, a, it's tropical. It's fruity. Oh, it's super tropical. Oh, I really yeah. like that. Yeah, I think it, I think it's nice. Mango papaya. Yes. I can see that. This is like a darker musky. Is that, is that even a word? Musky? It is musky. Musky with a little bit of sweetness. Caramel tobacco. That would explain that it. Would, that would... Yeah. Very masculine scent. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what this one is. It smells like a tree. And a little bit like but fire. Almost like marshmallow. Fireside marshmallow. Mm. Fireside marshmallow. Figured that had to go. I mean, we're campers, right? We got to do it. Okay. Last one. This is the last one we ordered. They have so many scents. And this is just one company, California Candle Company. Uh, our friend Stacy ordered one that was from uh, Lone Star, I think. Almost like movie theater popcorn. Really? It does smell like movie theater popcorn. Did they see what it was? I don't know if they're seeing this or not. What is it? It is um, bourbon roasted pecans. Bourbon? bourbon roasted pecans. Maybe butter. It smells like butter. Mm. I think yeah. I'm going to go fresh peach. Okay, well, because I love peach. One thing that Stacy did is she actually bought some colors. She's labeled them. She has half, I have half. So we can actually color our candles. So we're going to try making this one look like a peach for Steve. So we're going to do some yellow and maybe a little bit of red. Oops. We'll try that much. It gives a lot more color than you think and it looks a lot darker when it hasn't congealed yet. Just like that looks, the last one we did looked yellow. That's gonna turn white, so. Let's do a little bit of red. red. Like that? Yeah, that's good. This is pink, because we didn't have red, but this'll, this'll work. So with the color, we actually add it to this once it is melted. So, take it off the heat. It's hot. This is a lovely red, orangish. I see what it looks like in the glass. Color. Do the whole thing because it's one ounce. Done for today, I did four different scents. The two big volcanoes, some smaller orange peach or yellow peach, some purple uh, jasmine, and last but not least, a blue Jamaica me crazy, um, which I'm hoping will look like the sea. So they're all done and now they just need to set overnight and you'll see the final color you know, I can easily say this is the smelliest video we've ever done. But this 
but this time it's in a it's in a good way. There have been smelly videos before, but they weren't candles. I don't know where I'm going with this. We'll see you tomorrow. Are you happy with how they turned out? I'm really happy. It's still pretty hot here. That's why they look a little bit like tacky. They're not, they're fully set, um, but they smell amazing and they look really cool. And now we just have to start burning them and see how they go. You'll notice I used a bunch of different jars. Some of them are things we recycled, but the big thing is to try to have a lid. This is the only one right now besides, there's one other, there's two I made without lids. Um, they just need to be the ones we burn first because they're probably gonna lose some of their scent from being out in the air. But these should last a good amount of time. I'm super happy. I think we're gonna be burning candles even more than we were before. And uh, I have a lot more scents to try. This was only three plus our big volcano scent. So um, I still have a lot more to do as you saw. What do you think, Steve? Well, I have one burning in the office right now and it smells like peaches. I also have almonds and a melon. But yes, this, this actually smells like peaches. I love it. Success. I don't know what else to say. I have more candles. I'm excited. Girls are excited too. <laughs> oh, you sneezed really? on the lens. <laughs> you sneezed on the lens. <laughs>